guys and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. This seems like such a bizarre kind of video to film but I've been thinking about it for the last couple of days. Apologies for like there's loads of different noises hence why I'm in the downstairs loo at the moment which is probably really echoey and annoying but it's like the only room that's kind of remotely quiet but I've been thinking about this for the like last couple of weeks um, and I thought it might be kind of useful to film because me and Joe have been talking um, like I watch YouTube videos quite often and a lot of the stuff that kind of comes up on my kind of homepage on YouTube is like realistic um, mum routines and realistic um, cleaning videos and all this that and the other and I think a lot of us kind of know that some, not all, some of those videos aren't particularly realistic or they may be realistic to that person but then they may not be to others, i.e. myself. <laughs> um, like I say, that may be completely realistic to that person and some aspects of it maybe are relatable to me um, but a lot of like my personal realities or like the realistic kind of state of my house is completely different to like the videos that I'm personally seeing. So tangent aside, I thought I would show you today basically what my house is currently looking like. I would have recently uploaded an empty house tour um, which was filmed on the 23rd of February and then we moved in on the 24th of February um, and it is now the 12th of May. I don't know if I'll be able to even show you, you'll have to just take my word for it. I don't know if you can see it on there. It's the 12th of May and this is basically the current state of my house. Um, I'm going to show you every single room just to put it out there really um, and hope that someone sees it, um, maybe someone who like me kind of sees those realistic videos popping up and thinks the same as I do, like it's not realistic in their views as well. I'm not making any sense. By the way, if you're new around here, I'm pretty sure I have ADHD um, currently going through the whole assessment process. So I say, I think I do. I don't want to just like, diagnose myself but I'm awaiting assessment so I can't say that I actually have it um but um 99% sure I do um but yeah anyway let's sh start in the downstairs loo because that is where I currently am so my reality of this room is there is laundry always everywhere it's where my hoover lives it's where my thingy lives because I can't be cleaner thing because I have nowhere else to put it. All of my skincare and stuff lives up here. Makeup box, it's not in a bag. <laughs> um, purely because we went to an event a week ago and I actually put some makeup on for it. I don't put it on on the regular, but it is there. But they, those kind of things, they just live there now because it's just the most convenient place to ever wash my face or brush my teeth, which if we're being completely honest, is quite rare too. Um, anyway, on to the next room, which will be the kitchen diner. So the occurring theme is that there's generally just stuff everywhere that's been emptied out of boxes and then doesn't yet have a home to go to, um, which follows through to under my stairs, which generally is always a dumping zone, isn't it? But, um, strimmer, I don't even use that but it's there, <laughs> just just rubbish. I'm not gonna talk through everything because I don't think you need to really um, be taught how to suck eggs kind of thing or shown what things are when you can evidently see what those are. But um, yeah, computer desk, more than just the computer on it. Dining table, couldn't dine at it if we wanted to because my husband emptied out a box onto the table with nowhere for any of this stuff to go. So it's just stayed there for well over a month. 
laundry that definitely needs taking off so I can actually put the load that's in on there. Um, this is actually remotely tidy for a change because for once in my life I did the washing up before I went to bed last night and I put it away this morning. That rarely happens. Um, this is my breast pump and all of that malarkey. Don't actually get time to pump these days but it's out anyway because you know needs to gather dust like every other fucker in this house. My hob, much like my sink, because I live down south, is disgusting. Um, again, time. Not even gonna, not even gonna sugarcoat that. This cupboard that I very much did organise recently is a bit of a shit show again. I mean, it doesn't look awful. I kind of know where things are, so that's manageable. This one, on the other hand, I haven't even bothered to touch it. Much like most of the other cupboards in this house, I have. Um, essentially just left them as you know when you move into a house and you think i'll just empty stuff into the cupboards for now and then it's just stayed like that and it's been two months so two and a half months now so that's that onwards and then into the lounge where my toddler is currently watching youtube videos because it's the only way that I can get a minute to get the child, <laughs> the baby, to sleep. Thanks, Miss Rachel. Um, but yeah, accumulation of more crap. Standard. Uh, I'm not even going to apologise for this. I have two children, so that's that's just that's pretty good actually. As they go, in a bit, babes. And then out into the hallway gardening stuff from when I did the weeds the other day. Um, multiple nappy bags, bearing in mind I only use one of them. Just crap. And this is probably onto the most shit show of shit shows that my life kind of currently is. Um, just stuff. A Mother's Day card. And I repeat, it is the 12th of May. Mother's Day was in March. Um, so this is currently what is going to be my four month old's bedroom. Um, yeah, it did have a spare bed in here which had storage underneath it but we sold it because obviously we need to make space for him to come in here. Um, equally those are being collected today so all of our storage has disappeared. So everything currently looks like this. I don't have time to sort any of it. That's my clothes because I don't currently have a wardrobe. That's stuff to put on vintage. That's clean towels. I mean, it's organised chaos, I tell you. But um, chaos nonetheless. Vintage, vintage, bag of toys. That I don't even know. And this is my son's wardrobe. <laughs> of course, it's more than his wardrobe though, isn't it? There's just all sorts of crap in here. There's a toothbrush. He doesn't have any teeth yet. Um, more toys. More of my stuff. A spare bed. An airbed, if you will. Well, not if you will, it is an airbed. I don't know why I even said that. Um, my daughter's bedroom, probably the only remotely kind of organised and tidy room in the house. I mean, there's obviously stuff about because it's lived in, but um, yeah, it's fairly, fairly well organised. I mean, I have nowhere else to put that suitcase, so that's just going to stay there. Um, this bathroom, probably again, fairly well organised. I did clean the bath yesterday because my toddler decided to poo in there the other day. That was fantastic. Um, so yeah, there's obviously stuff. But it's all just like living stuff. Um, then our bedroom, which I just need to warn you, please prepare yourself for utter chaos. Are you prepared? I mean, this doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, I don't really need, you know who needs multiple guitars in their bedroom, but we clearly do. Um, that definitely should have been taken off downstairs and put in the giant laundry pile, but it wasn't. Um, 
the baby stuff actually fairly well organised. Happy caddy, nice and full. Bed, nice and clean. Changed your sheets yesterday after another reflux episode. Um, probably could sort that out, but you know, it's fine. Bed, actually airing for once. Doesn't look quite so shit showy. But uh, then we go on to this half of the room. Th th this is um, my current reality of not having anywhere to put anything. Clearly a space for a wardrobe that we don't possess. So um, there is piles of clean clothes, empty box, tech crap, I don't even know what that is. Um, the contents of my dressing table drawer that we need to sell because it was here and now it is clearly not. Um, this, uh, yeah, I don't even know. More clean clothes and bedding. More clothes. This is all of our clothes because we don't yet have a wardrobe. Um, so it's just in suitcases underneath more clothes. Oh, and look, more clothes. Um, that's my husband's floor robe. I'm not even going to go there. We've all probably got, got a, a person in our lives that does that. Um, and then he also likes to accumulate just stuff, which I'm pretty sure has um, also kind of made its way up here onto the windowsill. I don't even know. Don't even ask. Don't even ask, babe. Just close, close it off to the world. And then onto our ensuite, which um, again, as bathrooms go, is fairly well organised. Maybe the only bit that, oh hello, needs sorting out is this. Actually, no, I'd say that's fairly well organised. Spare toilet rolls, clean washcloths, skincare's all in one place. I can cope with that. Um, but yeah, it's all just, all just a bit of a mess, to be quite honest with you. Probably could do with cleaning that out because, um, toothpaste crap um but yeah anyway that was the current state of my house my house update if you like to show where where i'm at where i've been um and everything else um obviously if you are a longer term watcher of mine i'm gonna flip you around because this is just weird um if you are a longer term viewer of mine who maybe doesn't follow me on instagram or anything like that um, and have maybe wondered where I am. <sighs> Just life. Life. I know a lot of you do understand, and I'm hoping a lot of you will kind of relate to this video, um, but I don't even get a chance to sort this stuff out. I moved two and a half months ago now, like I say. Um, I barely had a chance to fart in that time. <laughs> I have barely... I've being just keeping on top of what needs to be done. Doing laundry, doing the washing up, keeping things remotely hygienically clean, um, and keeping my children and myself alive. So all of this has just been chucked to the back seat, much like YouTube has, unfortunately. But I do hope that I will be back sometime soon, maybe with some organization videos to this shit hole um who knows but anyway i'm gonna leave it here i hope you have found this video i don't even know entertaining maybe like an insight into the actual realities of having two under two and potentially adhd because i'm sure the mixture of the two really don't help the state of this house and um yeah i will see you all <laughs> very soon <laughs>